everyone. Today I'm going to be doing a creative journaling session in my 2022 journal. The page I'm going to be doing today I will be using my May Lollipop Box Club kit. In this month's kit I did actually collaborate with Lisa which is why this is marked as an ad and she did send me this box for free so I can show you how I use them and I'm also going to show you a little bit of what else is in the box. If for whatever reason you've not come across Lisa and the Lollipop Box before, a little bit of information on it. It's a creative kit. The box contains lots of bits and pieces that you can use in your projects whether you journal scrapbook happy mail there's lots of things in here that can be used for so many different paper crafty hobbies but they all somewhat coordinate and you can use them obviously together so you don't need to think too much about finding bits and pieces that go together so yeah this month's theme is picnic in the park so these are the collage sheets i designed there's clouds there's strawberries there's little cameras lots of decorative bits there's a sheet of stickers which have been designed by mrs brimbles there's like a little picnic basket there's bumblebees there's a little rubber stamp which is by skull and cross buns there is of course a lollipop wouldn't be complete without it. There's a postcard that says love you very much. There's another postcard, some more stickers with little tabs on. There are some little staples, like green staples. I really need to use staples more, I think, in my journals, just as like a decorative element, making a page more tactile. We have a little bag of bits and pieces by the looks of it. There's a little die cut that says relax. There's some blue string. There's a little picnic quote. There's a little tag. There are some sticky notes and then this little postcard with some other elements that could be cut out. Lisa also has principles available on her website and if you are a subscriber then you get them for free. We have some little circle stickers. There's another little pocket which has I think more die cuts. There's some little banners and stuff. There are some fruit. There's a little basket, there's a little watermelon circle, there's a little tag there, there's just... Oh, that's cute. Look at that. That's adorable. So those are all the little elements and bits and pieces you get. We also have at the bottom some really pretty vellum. That is really, really cool. Oh, this is my issue now, is there's so many cool things in here that I'm like, what am I going to use? There's some plain vellum, and then right at the bottom, there's a bigger bag, and in here should be some papers I'm guessing. Those are really cool. See those could be cut out kind of like washi strips or you could use it as one whole like sheet. Some little note paper, there's some little boxes. Those are cool as well. Oh I'm tempted to cut out a few of those to use. That's really pretty and that's really pretty. Oh I also think these bags as well like you can use that as paper. Rip that up and use it in your journals too. And of course her classic cloud tissue paper. So that's a little overview of what you get in the box. There are so many bits and pieces and again like I said it's it kind of doesn't matter what sort of paper crafting you do there is something in here that could be used on anything. Today I'm gonna where's my photos here they are. <laughs> I have these photos to document not quite picnicky but these are the photos that I have printed. I think they're from two different days. Three different days? possibly even three different days. Yep, three different days. So they're all outsidey photos. There are three different walks. One was obviously with my friend and her dog. And there was this walk where I found a teeny tiny mushroom. And then this one where I think it was an early morning walk. There was just like lots of mistiness and cobwebs and stuff. I'm gonna put these all on one page because there's not enough on each walk that I wanna write about. So I tend to put a few on one page and kind of write a little bit about all of them rather than a lengthy page on each one. But yeah, I'm gonna get started and I will speak to you again at the end of the video.
I am finishing my page there. There were so many things I still wanted to add on here. In the background at the top, I've used some of the cloud tissue paper, which comes in every box because that's like her branding. But it just worked really well with this page because I cut out the blue cloud from the collage sheet. And then I also used some of the pink paper bag as well. I added some there, I've added some behind this photo and at the bottom I cut out a strip from one of the card pieces just so it's a bit different and it's also got a red pattern as well so it kind of helps to tie in the red on the page. I decided to just back the photos onto white paper rather than another coloured piece of paper so instead of having the coloured border I've just added little strips of yellow washi tape around. At the top I've used this little banner piece with the flower and I've added two of the stickers from the sticker sheet so it says beautiful day today. The cloud I cut out and then I cut it in half so I've got a piece of it on either side. If you're someone who likes to kind of hoard things that's a really good way <laughs> of making the most of something. I did the same with the sun. Of course added the dates as well for all the different photos. I've added the little daisy stickers. I've added some little red fray stickers. This one says just relax. This one says love. This one says happy. And also a couple more little bits and pieces um, from the collage sheet. So I've added the bits of grass. Again, I did the same with the grass down here. I've cut this one in half. So I've got part of it going off the page here, part of it going off here. I actually still need to cut the corner off, I've just realised. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> So that is how my page has come together with the lollipop box. I always enjoy creating a page using this kit. It all coordinates, there's not too much thinking involved, it's more just sitting down and enjoying the creative process. I'll add the journaling in a little bit later. I will have a link below to where you can subscribe to the box. So if you do want to subscribe then you can go and check that out down there. I'll also leave a link to Lisa's YouTube channel and her social media. If you're looking for some creative inspo definitely go and check her out. She also does little crafty zooms as well so if that is something that interests you definitely go and have a look at her website so you can find out more about that. A little sneak peek of what she's got coming in June. Here's a little photo of what to expect and the kit is called Let's Escape. I have just checked on her website and she does still have this kit available so you can just buy a one-off kit and they stay up until they're out of stock because sometimes she does have a few extras left over each month and she does seem to have a few other ones as well from previous months still available love lisa love her kits that's why i collaborate with her she is just wonderful person puts together such a wonderful box as always thank you all so much for watching if you're a patron of mine then your name will be on the screen now really really loving seeing what you guys have been doing with my collage sheets over there so if you do want more of these collage sheets then you can head over to my patreon i'm gonna go now have a lovely lovely day and i will see you in my next video bye